Welcome to our live training session number 27. We're going to be tuning a track prepped Honda AP2 S2000 using Honda K Pro. Let's jump into some details about this vehicle. We're going to find it has a bone stock F22C engine. It also has an AEM cold air intake, a race header, a test pipe, and an exhaust. So really simple in modification. It has a stock fuel system, so stock injectors, stock fuel pump. We're going to be tuning it on 93 octane again using Honda K Pro. We're going to have a lot to cover, so let's jump into our live training session so we can get started creating our base map for this vehicle. Welcome to our live training session here with our naturally aspirated Honda S2000. Now we just went over all the details of the vehicle. Let's jump into our K-Manager software so we can create our base calibration and get our engine fired up. Moving into our software here on the upper left hand corner, we're going to find we have a new calibration tab. Now when we select this, it's going to give us the option to select multiple different calibration types um, and multiple different files within that calibration type. So we can see at the top here we find Pier B, it's going to be associated with a Pier B style ECU and calibration type. We're moving down our list here, we have a PND, PNF, PRA, and so on and so on. So we'll find here we have a Honda S2000 specific uh, section here with a PRA file. This is going to be associated with using the stock narrowband sensor on a PRA specific file. A lot of the more advanced features we have available to use with our K-Pro are not able to be used with a PRA file. So I'm going to be skipping this and I'm going to be using here a PRB file, our first choice. We can see we have the most amount of uh, files in that directory for a PRB style ECU. We're going to go down to the bottom, scroll all the way to the bottom, and we're going to find we have a couple options here that are S2000 specific. Now, what's unique about this is for an 06 to 09 S2000, it was a product that Honda had used to sell was a dual K-Pro ECU. So the K-Pro ran the fuel injectors, the coil packs, uh, the VTEC operation, and then the OEM ECU ran the drive-by-wire throttle. And we'll find that they're going to have to go in and turn the, the idle control back on using the idle control solenoid on this AP2 application here. So we are on a 0405 S2000 application specifically in this car. So we'll go ahead and select one of these files. I'll select the stock file here because we're going to go in and create our entire base calibration. We're going to go through start to finish. So it doesn't really matter which one we select, but I'll go ahead and select the stock one right here. Click OK. Now that we selected that, it opens up the file in our K Manager, and we can see right now our ignition map's open. We pop in here, here's our fuel map. We can see that our two dimensional lines here are showing on our graph. Um, we're going to have two different sections that we have to modify for our files. We're going to have our parameter section that's going to be modifying things such as our fuel injector size, our map sensor type, our VTEC engagement, or uh, if we have different sensors wired into uh, our Capo version 4, we're going to have to set all that up in that section. Now, any of the actual tuning for fuel and spark are going to be done in our table section here. So, we're going to be treating this in two separate segments or sections of our file. We're going to first start into our parameters, then move into our file, our tables here, and start to uh, edit everything. So let's move into our parameter section here. Let's click on our tab. We're going to find we have a whole bunch of sub-tabs under our parameters that we have to go through and set up, make sure everything is configured properly. Now, taking a look here on the upper left-hand corner, we're going to start at this tab, move all the way down to our lower tab here to VTEC. So we're going to cover everything in here that's going to be relative to this. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.